Santa Barbara. I never stop loving you. Will a confession of love bring a confession of murder? It was Kirk. This week. Beautiful night. I woke you, didn't I? Mm -mm, you didn't. I turned and you weren't there. I couldn't sleep. How about a back rub? Maybe later. Sometimes it's better to share what's bothering you. I know, and I will. Just, just not right now. I love you. Look, I'll be in in just a second, okay? There's no use both of us losing a night's sleep. Brandon gets up pretty early. He does, doesn't he? Night. Sent on I don't know why. Lately, I just have a hard time sharing my feelings. I guess I'm not used to being a, a married man. I don't help much, do I? Are you kidding? You've been terrific. I don't know how you put up with me sometimes. Cruz, I don't expect you to give what you're not ready to give. I just can't help caring about you. I care about you, too. Don't you know that? I know you don't feel the same way I do. You can't hide your feelings just, just the same way I can't. I just want you and Brandon to have the life you deserve. I'm going to give it to you. You already have. Maybe. Anyway, I, I appreciate you being patient. It isn't hard when you're in love. Yeah. What is it? It's not us. Is it the investigation? I heard you and Nick talking earlier about some case that he's working on. Yeah, he's been helping Eden with something. I hope she's fine. Me too. She had to fly up to Stanford Medical Center again tonight. Why? Well, apparently Kirk's body is rejecting his new heart. He may not make it. <laughs> Mr. Cranston, your wife's here. <laughs> Mr. Cranston, get Dr. Greenberg. Right. She's here. She's here. Kirk, see me. Yeah, she's here. I'm here. It's time. Gina, come Gina. on. Gina, what about Kirk? Gina? Gina. For Kirk? Gina. What? No, Gina. No. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. It's perfect. It's perfect. Do it. Do it now. There. There. Still not taking, is it? No. Five milligrams of benzodiazepine. <laughs> Sedative should calm him down. Please, can I stay with you? No, I'm afraid I'm his friend. I won't upset him. He doesn't even know we're here. Please. Gina. No. Out, out Please, the... it's just a few minutes. Please, I, I, I promise I won't. Out of the question. How long the nurse will let you know if there's any change. Please, can you give him some more of that drug or something? No, no, I'm sorry. His body is fighting the rejection, but he still hasn't turned the corner. And we've given him all of that drug that we can give him right now that we dare. I'm sorry. I know that it's very painful. <laughs> Nick, I called just as soon as I got your message. I'm sorry to bother you up there. How's uh, Kirk doing? Oh, not good. The doctors don't have much hope. I'm sorry. Listen, I wanted to let you know I'm going to be out of town in New York for a few days. Um, so is there anything else you need for me to find out before I leave? No, no, that's okay. I think I'm just going to drop the whole matter anyway. You sure? Yes. Well, okay. But I've got to warn you that Cruz is terribly worried about your safety, and he's not happy at all about not knowing what's going on. He wouldn't be. And as per our agreement, you don't know anything either, do you? Well, I think I have a pretty good idea. Well, let's just drop it, okay, Nick? All right. But you'll call me if you need anything. Yes, I will. Thank you. Have a, have a nice trip. Well, look, I sincerely hope that Kirk is going to pull through this. Yeah, me too. I was just going to call you. I took the jet up as soon as I heard it. You look exhausted. I think we all are. Danny. Oh. Danny. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. Kirk's a fighter. I know.
know he's not going to give up. He's made it this far. Yes, he has. Look at you. You okay? Yes, I just have to accept whatever happens. You're amazing, you know that? I'm so proud of you. I know Kirk is, too. You know, you didn't need to come all the way down here. Oh, of course I did. Of course I did. I'm going to go find his doctor. I want to get an update. What's wrong, sweetheart? Just tired. I want people feeling sorry for me. We all love you, Eden. I know. Just can't handle everybody's sympathy. I just don't need it right now. You want to tell me what's really going on? Mama, please. No more questions. Let's just leave it alone. Even Dirty Harry needs some sleep. Well, yeah, one thing about Dirty Harry, you will notice he never, ever has to file a report. You gonna have some breakfast? I don't think so, thanks. I'm gonna go in early today. I, um, I hadn't said I love you in days. I shouldn't have. It's not that. Cruz, I don't expect you to change your feelings overnight. No, you don't expect it, Santana, but that's what you want me to do. I mean, I feel it every time we're together. You want me to say those same things to you, and I and I know how much it gets to you when I can't. I didn't make a big deal about it. Look, don't get mad. I'm not, I'm not blaming you. It's just that we could be talking about the PTA, and it's there. I'm selfish, Cruz. I can't play act to hide my feelings for you. I've tried. The trouble is, I want to share everything with you. No two people share everything. You shared everything with Eden. No, I didn't. I... We shared a lot. And there's a bond between us. When something is wrong with her, when she is in some kind of trouble, I can still feel it. That's because you loved her. She asked Nick to do some investigating for her. I think it's ha it has to do with that night at the boathouse. Now, we know that Gina tried to kill Eden that night. And I can't imagine Gina trying to do something like that alone. Does Eden suspect the same thing? Why else would she hire a private investigator? Granted, there could be a logical explanation. This is just a feeling, and for some reason she won't talk to me about it. I'm sorry, I keep going on about this. This isn't your problem. No, no, I, I'm just so happy that you're talking to me. I get a little crazy too, you know. Not without good reason. Well, I'm, uh, I'm not exactly wild about the fact that Eden still gets to you. I have no right to resent it either. Santana, I want to be a good husband to you. You are. Well, if I am, it's only because you are so loving. Brandon and I are both lucky to have you. Bruce, you don't regret our marriage, do you? No. Never. I want it to work. I am so glad. But I, I want us to keep being honest with each other, too. Do you want to go see Eden this morning? Yes, I do. I am. I, I think she's still in trouble. Yeah. One way or another, I'm going to find out. I understand. Look, I don't care what you say. You're still going to need a good breakfast. Give me a minute, okay? I'm just tired. Well, why don't you close your eyes? I'll be right here, okay? I can't take this anymore, Mama. Honey, he might make it. He's young and he's strong. It's not Kirk, it's me. I know there's so many things going through your mind right now and you think your life is never going to be right again. Mama, every time I close my eyes, I just see all the mistakes I've made staring back at me. I should have never married Kirk. Everyone knew it wasn't the right thing. Even I knew it was the right thing. But it was like I couldn't 
do anything about it. I just gave up. No, you didn't. You did everything you could to make it work. But feelings don't lie, do they, Mama? I don't love him. I never have. I know that. And I kept telling him that everything would be all right. That we'd be happy someday. You don't have any feelings for him. I can't stand it. I feel like I'm living in some kind of a lie. He's lying there in pain. And I feel hypocritical. Everyone's treating me like my only true love is dying. Everyone's trying to make it easier for you. I know, you. Mama. But you know what I was thinking about when you walked in the door? I was thinking about Cruz. My husband's dying and I'm thinking about some other man. Don't be too hard on yourself. The thing is, Mom, is I'm not even ashamed. I love Cruz. It's the one thing in my life I know I'm sure about. I'm so, so sorry. I don't know what I'm going to do, Mama. I don't know either, baby, but I know you're going to be okay because you're so strong. Mrs. Cranston? What's happened? I need to talk to you right away. I thought you'd want to hear it from me first. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to the floor. I understand. Thank you, doctor. Sorry, did, did something happen to Kirk? He's fine. Doctors say he's stabilized. He's going to be all right. And why are you so unhappy? Don't. Now? Please don't say anything. Just give me a hug. <laughs> 